Tell me a little bit about your uh, the history of the uh, homecoming and what you guys are doing here. So I'm an out of towner, so I don't know all the history, but John's Wink would know a lot about that. Okay. Um, we just wanted to celebrate 50 years of our library being in its current location, and we had some one room schoolhouse books and story time, and some people came that actually went to that church when they were growing up and, and brought some pictures, so it was really neat to see the original furnishings. And, so that was a church before it was a library? The United Brethren Church in oh, okay. Valley Center. Now, what are your hours of operation? We are Monday, Wednesday, 1 to 6, and Saturday, 9 to 12. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It has our website. The website, I have put the history, and so you can read about what the history of the church is, of the library is. And um, okay. the summer reading program, we've got all the pictures from our summer reading program. Um, we just kind of reminisced about old schools and the games they played and the discipline and the outhouses. <laughs> all the fun memories. It's a car lock. So. It is. I want to go in there. Okay. Very good. But anyway, it was um, Larry Trambarger came. He went to church there. Mama. And um, June Seibert sent some pictures. She went to school and church there. She her son Gary brought, brought oh, uh -huh. um, the pictures. Yeah. Alright, well I'm gonna go take some pictures of your paint okay. play. How here. did you get involved in the library and what do you do over there? I was on the, the library board. Just, Jacob, I'm talking to this gentleman. It's unlocked. Could you please thank you? <laughs> That's my son. <laughs> We can edit that out. I say. <laughs> I'm leaving that in particular. No. Well, it's no use. She didn't throw anything at it. Yeah. Yeah, Bill, Bill asked me, he goes, now you can't edit this case. And I said, we can, we won't. We, we won't, can. but we can. Um, I was on the library board um, two years ago, and um, last year, around February, our librarian had some health issues and had to quit, and so I filled in just filling in and then they talked me into taking over as library director. So I'm a library director and working with the CKLS. And well, and as you said, you have a website and everything, yeah. so you're, you're busy. Well, yes, we were getting websites and getting grants and just, just trying to improve and be a good resource for the community. So. Absolutely wonderful. Well, keep up the good work. Thank you. So tell me what's going on here today. Oh well, we're so, this is what we call our homecoming, where people just get together for the afternoon and just have fun with their friends and family or whoever comes to eat with them. And we usually have a lot of games and stuff, but it's the weather and the heat and stuff has got, it's got things down a little bit. You know, not everybody's wanting to get out, but I think today's turned out really good. So we've got well, a lot of people here already. So. I've noticed that, and it smells really good. Well, you'll have to find out here. <laughs> well, I'm going to do that. Now, you guys have a raffle? Yes, we have a raffle that we're trying to raise money to put the bathroom in a ball diamond. Uh, the rec commission's been using for it for the last several years, and that's not a very economical way of doing it. And so right now, everything we go, our profits for this thing is going to go to that. Okay, so. and this homecoming thing you have every year now? Yes, we've been doing it every year, pretty regular now. I like said the other night, we've, there was like 10 years that it didn't happen. Since 2002, we've done it every year, though. Um, well, and wonderful. And now I saw somebody out there digging around the horseshoe pits. Do you guys have a horseshoe tournament or anything like that? Well, it would be nice, but I haven't found a volunteer to run that yet. Ah, uh, I um, understand. Uh-huh. But hopefully we keep building up. We'd like to get a few more members. There's only, what, about five or... Five or six of us really steady members in our club, and we try to do quite a bit with just this field. Well, tell me about the club. I'm kind of interested in that. I'm going to sit down here because I'm old and lazy, and I'm lazy. Ooh. Ooh, oh, these are old, so. I've sat in, I've sat in chairs like this. Okay, right? you didn't get in trouble, did you? Did. <laughs> no comment. 
No, yeah. no, I put my hands down on the desk. Okay. I know. Put your okay. hands on the desk. We're hit with a ruler. Uh huh. <laughs> I don't have a ruler here. But, but no, the match. Like, we started out with regenerating the chamber of commerce because it had dissipated for several years also. And we regenerated that, but it got to the point where there was more individuals in the club than there was business. And as a chamber, we had to pay to be a chamber to the state every year. And we, so we switched to the MAC club, which stands for the Maxwell Adult Citizen Club. And that kind of fell right in with our name and everything. So, And with the MAC club, we take care of the Santa House. We, put, we made decorations, the street decorations, on the main street and on the we decorate the park every year. We had to add a new decoration. Our city employee, Troy Wright, and Tim Buckman, the one we lost last year, they were the ones that done most of the welding and stuff on it. And then me and the rest of the club have done all the lights and the garland and all that kind of stuff on it. And then, of course, we work on this and we do our breakfast every month, so we give out scholarships at the end of the year. The high school kids. And, so you're really quite involved. We are. We are. We're, we're just a little bunch here. We we try to do as much as we can. You know, and like I said, the bathroom over here, I don't know if you noticed that. That was, we that was two, two years, two years ago. ago, is when they completed that bathroom. And that was one of our first part, major projects that in our Christmas decorations that we put in. So, That's a worthwhile project. Yes, it is. It definitely is. And it has been really a blessing for us to have that. like a pretty fun job. Tell me about what this is. This is called a penny pitch. The object of the game is throw the penny behind the line on the board and get a one, two, three, four, five, and you get that in return. A one is one again, and a five. Since they're probably better than you about sitting stuff back to you. I go in the middle and they're building on the 50 silly. Oh, really? On the five, red, and two, six. Dollar sign, you get a dollar It's got to be in the middle here. And I put in a stipulation a year, a couple of years back. If somebody hits it in like that, I call half. That means if somebody else around the board hits that in for half, I give them more. She's a dollar. 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 She's
This year, the proceeds go to the class of 82. Yeah. Now he's in. Excellent. And I'm guessing kids, yeah. You guys have been playing this game a while, I think, from what I hear. Yeah, we've been playing it off and on since probably 80. In the 80s. In the 80s. It originated way back in the 50s, 60s. Another reason to find this game. Hey, my dad's in the game. Oh, there's a three. At least kids are getting awful good at this. One. One. Sorry, I tried to get three. Thank you, sir.